Hey guys, welcome to another video. It is now week three of the Garage Gym Powerlifting Competition Program. So, um, yeah, I've had a pretty good day so far. Literally just drinking some pre-workout, eating a little bit um, of grits because I had a lunch. It's like two o'clock right now and I had lunch a little bit earlier. So I'm just eating a little bit of food now. Um, and I've got the program pulled up and today I have squats and bench and as you know on squats I'm not exactly doing these numbers I'm doing the reps I've got sets of four and five on squat and then bench I've got 225 and 210 so like I said in the first video that was week one the working weights were a little bit lower but they're already right back to um, what is traditionally like normal um, working weight for me most of the time, uh, well, at least recently, obviously, as my bench strength is where it is. Uh, so, yeah, should be a pretty good bench day, hitting 225 um, for some reps and then 210 back down for some more reps and then um, accessories like always. So, I will eat these grits, drink this pre-workout, get downstairs and get started on the workout. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and comment any questions, concerns, um, anything you want down below. And uh, yeah, see y'all downstairs in a second. We're downstairs now. Um, I've pretty much done all my warm up. I've got 225 on the bar for squats, which is going to be the working sets for today. So um, yeah. Did my warm up, which I showed a little bit last time, but it's a lot of like ankle mobility, hip mobility, um, and then activation of like glutes, hamstrings, quads, adductors, abductors, pretty much just um, fairly well rounded, really. A little bit of static stretching at the very beginning, but for the most part, um, activation, a little bit of mobility. So, without further ado, let's get these squats over with because they are pretty boring, light, and uh, then we can move on and get to bench press, which will be um, actual working weight, pretty much, so a little bit more uh, exciting and intriguing. So let's get these over with and move on. Got the squats done with and I was thinking about it, I was like, let's just get these over with, um, knock them out, move on, and <laughs> that's kind of like the opposite of, of what I need to do. I need to be like really paying attention to um, like my technique and everything um, so that like this work with the lighter weights isn't just like completely useless. So. Um, I realized that like right after I set it on camera, so um, I did take my sets pretty seriously. Um, so just wanted to put that on video. Uh, if you are in the situation where you have to pull way back and use really light weights, it can be pretty boring and you can kind of lose interest and not pay attention to what you're doing, but that defeats the whole purpose. So if you're in that situation, take uh, extra like emphasis put out put extra emphasis on the movement itself and really refining that and perfecting that and that way you're actually getting something accomplished you're not just going through the motions um if you are just going through the motions it's going to be probably more beneficial than not doing anything at all but um obviously practice and like technique work with actual like attention and like paying attention being aware of what you're doing why it's doing one thing or another where your weak points are or your kind of false lie is going to be more beneficial in the long run so anyways we are moving on to bench now so literally just strip the weight off the squat bar and got to get this bench in the combo rack and then we'll get warming up and going on bench press so Let's do it. Move on to bench. Of the past, 
just hit 225, hit my sets, accidentally hit five reps on the first set, was supposed to do four, um, I looked at it right before and then I was like on rep three and I was like, do I have four reps or five? So I just did five, um, wasn't too bad, and then now, backing it down, I've got 210 loaded up, sets of seven coming up, so um, getting in that volume, and then we'll be moving on to accessories, and uh, yeah, that'll be the workout. So, gonna hit these, keep my form um, through all the reps, keep the chest up, shoulders um, in place, and uh, yeah, form is feeling pretty good, so um, let's just hope I don't burn out <laughs> the last couple reps of the bench press workout. So, here we go, knock them out. Bench press all wrapped up now, hit those sets of seven with 210 after my sets of four, or one set of five and sets of four with 225. So now uh, I'm gonna do some accessories. The program just has core on there, but seeing as my squat, <laughs> all of my squat days or days with squat on them are not as intense, not as draining as they are kind of supposed to be or at least um, how I kind of take them into account for the program because I'm not uh, using the amount of weight prescribed I can afford to do a little bit extra so I'm gonna do probably just uh, a couple sets of like shoulders and stuff um, and then that'll be it for the workout um, so probably do some like lateral raises and I'm thinking maybe like a kneeling single arm dumbbell press so let's get that I'll probably just do I'll probably do like a circuit I'll do the lateral raises straight into the kneeling dumbbell press and then I might just go like back and forth with like basically no rest or just a couple seconds to kind of like pace myself so yeah, I'll probably do that so I can knock it out pretty quickly, do the abs, and then we'll be done for the day. So let's get that started and, uh, yeah, get a nice shoulder pump to finish the workout off.
Woo! Gosh! That was, uh, <laughs> harder than I thought it was gonna be. I did, in case you couldn't tell, like, rep-wise what I was doing, I did set of 10, set of 10, set of 8, set of 8, 6, 6, 4, 4, and then I finished out with, I think it was like 10 or 12 reps on the lateral raises at the end, just to kind of pump that last little bit of blood into the shoulder. So, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually done like a kneeling uh, shoulder press like that, and my form could definitely use a little bit of work, um, just keeping the abs tight, and probably should have taken like my time or taken less weight, uh, or <laughs> both probably, so that um, my shoulder was doing all the work because I was, I was just like leaning a little bit, rocking the shoulders, just not having the strictest form, but uh, it was all right for the workout that I was doing, just try to like kind of crank out reps there. So um, all in all, yeah, that was really well. And I'm gonna do abs now. Again, I won't bore you with that. So that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure to like the video. If you like the video, subscribe for more content. Check out the Garage Gym Competition and the Garage Gym Competition program that I wrote. Um, I'll try to put that in the description below, but if not, I made a full overview video or you can just Google Garage Gym Competition. You will find it and you'll find all the information you need. And if not, just reach out to me or anyone involved and we would be happy to help you get uh, on the right track and get competing this year and for years to come. So anyways, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Appreciate it so much, and I'll see you in the next one.